about some of the really crazy stuff I saw when I was trans identified um, in the trans community, in online spaces, and going to trans support groups. This would have been in uh, 2015 to 2017. And I think it's very important to it was active. Know of these places and know what is happening when people go into these spaces. Because as, as I've come out the other side, I've realized that there is so much cult-like behavior and so much um, thought control and just pressure put on people to conform to delusional um, thoughts and behavior. So they complain about us not wanting them to play sports, but within their own space, this guy's talking about what's happening in their own spaces where it's just them. And what do you say? They're always coming in mad, complaining about something. Even in their own space where it's just them. There's no, like, we we have to try to please these people when these people can't be pleased, man. Paul. And even in their own space, they can't be honest with each other. They can't be honest with each other in their own space. I don't even know. I think she was People are narcissists, man. Identified as male. But she had undergone no medical interventions whatsoever. She would not been on testosterone. She would not have a mastectomy. Nothing. Right? She even dressed in stereotypical feminine female clothes. And I remember sitting there going, what the hell? Like, this makes absolutely no sense. But again, I knew I couldn't challenge her. Because if you challenge somebody, the rest of the group would come down on you and be like, basically be nice. You couldn't be mean. Because if you were to say anything that goes against someone's delusion or their belief, then you were being mean to them. And you have, this is like trans bread and butter right here, right? It's the appeal to empathy all the fucking way down. It's the stupid appeal to empathy where you have to take someone else's feelings into consideration, someone else's delusion into consideration in order to be kind or progressive or nice or whatever, even when they're freaking delusional. The mental aspect or the psychological aspect of like people targeting you if you do well um, or singling you out, you know, as having unfair advantage, it, it slows me, it slows me. Down. I slow myself down. The mental. Did you hear that? I, I told you, I did a video on this on my other channel where I, I said, they let the girls win sometimes. I did that video like three or four years ago. They let the girls win sometimes. That's smart. Yeah, but against competition. Remember, like, um, the dude just got suspended for life from the NBA for leaving the games because you know he was he was tipping off the betters and saying, I'm only gonna score this amount of points. And then he would like fake um get hurt and come out of the game. So he guaranteed mm. he, didn't get, he got banned for life for that. The yeah. transgenders are competing in sports. Right. College is shit. And they're letting the girls win sometimes. Think about if you're a gambler. And you can just find out when this transgender is going to let the girls win. And you know he's favored to win. And you put a, a million dollars that he's going to lose this time. You could clean house, man. Because you know he's going to be favored to win every race. And then this is the one where he's like, all right, I'm going to let the girls win so that um, people won't be bad at me. So it looks, you know, it just looks better. Like, it looks normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, yeah. um, she won. I, I, I didn't win all of them. Yeah, I mean, I understand your argument. I think a lot of people in sports could do that if they wanted to. They could. They, that's why it's illegal for them to do it. They could just lose like the other guy. But you'd be surprised at how fast the gambling market would pick up on something like that and be like, they'd price that in. 
because people would bet both ways. It would be a weird. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't know. It's like when when is he gonna fucking feel the pressure? This is mom. He doesn't give a fuck about anybody. He's selfish. He doesn't care about the girls. He doesn't care about the parents. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. The only time he decides to lose is when he feels the pressure. Like he starts feeling like every people looking at him crazy, and the other girls are like, you know, huffing and puffing. <laughs> And he's like, all right, I got to lose this next one. You don't know when that's going to be. Neither does he. He's a complete random no, variable. But not, but neither would a gambler. Right. That's what I'm saying. So well, what I'm saying is if you, like, were close to him or you knew his roommate or something, right. you're like, yo, how's he feeling? Oh, yeah, he's he, he's talking last night about, like, how everyone's on him because he keeps winning. And he said that he just can't take the pressure of constantly winning all the time. Like you can you can know that mental aspect or the psychological. Aspect. There's nothing to argue about that dude. I get you want to fuss with me. There's nothing to argue about that dude. If if you could find out when he was gonna fucking throw the match, you could bet all your money on uh, on the other people and win a bunch of money. Period. Okay, so that is trans woman Jacqueline Mountner. Um, who competes in the female category. And I think, um, I'm not sure exactly, it's some sort of bike racing. It might be downhill bike racing, um, but has, has won state titles, has you know done well in the sport. And it's basically admitting to the fact that she slows herself down when she competes. Why would you slow yourself down? Like, d- d- does that make sense for any athlete ever in any category of sport to intentionally perform worse because you are scared of winning what why would any athlete be scared of winning well they don't want attention drawn to themselves so why would you not want attention drawn to yourself well maybe because you don't that's not it that's not why they they do that they do that so that it can be like, yeah, I'm just like the other girls. Look, I can lose sometimes. Anybody can win. I mean, look, I mean, there's no advantage. Kaylee won yep. last time. Christina won this time. And then, you know, of course, when the championship comes around, I mean, I always win the championship, but the, the <laughs> little meets be- the little meets before the championship, <laughs> sometimes the other girls win those. Oh, that's crazy, man. That's what that swimmer, that's what that swimmer man did too. He let the yeah. other girls win a couple and yeah. kick their ass on the final. Yeah, as long as you can get into the championship, <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. get top five crumbs. Gotta make it look good. Yeah. They take yeah, that argument. Man. They want it. They want to get but, rid of that argument that they're. But when their win. final come though, when their final race come though, it's on at that point. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just be they'll just blow them out of the water and win. You're like, wow, where did that come from? It's crazy, man. Just think about that, man. Like they're literally breaking all the rules. They're not just playing against girls, but they're like messing up the integrity of the sport. Yeah, but it's more. But I'll tell you what, it's just becomes if this starts to continue to become normal and more men start doing this, it won't be like that anymore. They'll have to try. They compete against those other men. But there's not enough for them. Not so yeah. Here's the thing. I think like, yeah, like like for instance, say it was like four guys out here, four four dudes pretending to be girls out here. A, a trans dude would still win though. That's what you're not getting. No, no, I understand that concept, but that whole thing about like letting the girls win, that that'll go away because they'll have to compete against the other men. But no, but what I'm saying is 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 that all four guys, they still have to all four um collude to let the girls win sometimes. Yeah, they, they may <laughs> and they may do that, but they that's what I mean. It's it they'd have to do that, it would be much more difficult. And you're gonna see this because now without like the requirement they're trying to get rid of like all requirements with this too. Like they're trying to be like you don't have to take drugs. Not that I agree with not that I agree that if you take drugs, it it, it may